Mwahaha. Mwahaha. Five days, people. You have gone five days without listening to the sound of my beautiful voice. Not watching my expert gameplay. Not watching my mastery of all things 360. Anyway, welcome back to more Oblivion. Yeah, sorry about the lack of updates recently. Um, lightning storm knocked out the power for a couple of days. Then I actually, um, well, I was truth be told also, the last two days I was playing other games. I beat Mass Effect 2 on Insanity, and I beat uh, Halo 3 on Legendary. So, all that hell is done, now let's talk to Joffrey. Good work. Captain Bird and his guardsmen should be able to handle any additional gates, at least for now. But the Bruma Guard cannot defend the city indefinitely. The Daedra of Oblivion are innumerable, the guardsmen of Bruma are not. We need to gather what allies we can before Bruma is hopelessly besieged. If the Mythic Dawn manages to open a great gate here, the city will need a stronger great gate than there to be any hope of defending it. You should speak to the rulers of the other cities of Cyrodiil, as well as the Elder Council. Ask them to send aid to Bruma before it is too late. What else? Can Martin I made help some you? progress on the Mysterium Not that I give a damn. while you were gone. You should speak to him about it. Right, I'll go talk to him, you then I'll go talk to, to you some more, then I'll go do the quest. Yeah, the um, aid for Bruma quest is really straightforward. You just go to each city, and conveniently, an Oblivion Gate is opened outside each city, so you need to go close the Oblivion Gate outside each city. I am not going to do that on screen, just because it's just me closing more Oblivion Gates, and you really don't want to see that. Let's talk to Martin. I figured out another item needed for the ritual, to open the portal to Cameron's Paradise. The second item is the counterpart to the first, the blood of a divine. This was a terrible puzzle to me. Unlike the Daedra Lords, the gods have no artifacts and do not physically manifest themselves in our world. How then to obtain the blood of a god? But Joffrey solved it. The blood of Tiber Septum himself, who became one of the divines. This is a secret remembered only by the blades, passed down from one Grand Master to the next. Joffrey should tell it to you himself. Be sure to see. All right. Uh, Matt Marker's out here. Okay. Wow, Joffrey moved pretty fast. What? Joffrey. Joffrey. Oh. 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 I see what happened. I think. I think I know what's gone wrong here. Yeah, it switched my um, active quest to aid for Bruma, didn't it? Um. Yeah, aid for Bruma. Blood of the Divines. Right. Okay. Good evening. Oh, sir. there's Joffrey. Yes. Joffrey. Talk to me. Talk to me. So, Martin wants you to recover the armor of Tiber Septim. I wish there was another way. Why? The armor is in the shrine of Tiber Septim, in the catacombs beneath the ruins of Sankator, a holy place once. But now it's not. But Sankator became evil long ago. No one has returned from the shrine of Tiber Septim for many lifetimes. I do not know. What miserable the hell lies within Sankator? The, the, the four mightiest yeah, you don't blades know. of Tiber really Septim's helpful. day, Elaine, Valdemar, Relus, and Kaznar, went to Sankator and never returned. Here, this is the key to Sankator's outer door. I fear I am sending you to your death, but we have no other choice. You must succeed. Yay! <laughs> All right, um... Yeah, shut up. Like I said before, with the aid for Bruma quest, I'm not gonna do that on screen. It's just the same thing. You've yes. seen me close Oblivion Gates before, it's yes. the same exact thing, and it's really boring, and I don't want to waste time recording that stuff. I'm gonna do the remaining item quest, the stuff for the ritual, and I'll probably do, um, the battle for Castle Kavach. That much I'll probably record. Where's my horse? I, mean, I could probably take one of the Wayne and Priory horses, but... Oh well. Oh well. Oh, and I just realized. <laughs> I've got managed to level up in Oblivion last time, so. Let's go sleep. Level up! Ooh, plus four speed. Ooh, yeah, definitely. Uh, endurance and probably strength. Yeah. That should work. Alright. Alrighty, right, alright. Right, Armor of Tiber Septim. 
Now, unfortunately, there's no fast travel locations that I've been to near where the shrine is, so I'm gonna have to go there. I'm gonna have to ride there. It's okay. We all love jumping down the stairs. It's really fun later on in the Shivering Isles. Wait, where's the... Where's my horse? Hmm. Oh, you know what I can do? I can just fast travel back back to the same spot and the horse will appear. Ta-da! Am I good or am I good? I'm gonna ride down the path here, because if I jump off the mountain, I will most likely die. And dying is not good. So now we're gonna ride to Sankator. Oh, I'm not cutting it out. No, 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 no. You get to sit through this with me. You get to suffer. Actually, you really don't have to. You can just fast forward it. But don't! Dare fast forward. I've gotta do this. You've gotta do this. It's the ruined stones where we killed the two perverted lesbian spies. Mm hmm. I don't care what you say. They were lesbian. Alright, um. Not that I have anything against that. Anyway, doesn't matter. Moving on. Shouldn't have said that. Writing. Ooh, I'm gonna steer clear of that alien ruin because that is a vampire lair. They won't come out, obviously, because it's daylight and vampires get damaged in the sun, but still. Yes, there are vampires in this game. Yes, you can become a vampire in this game. If you are not careful. Actually, there are, there's crosses and... There's pros and cons to being a vampire. Because it's in four stages. You can feed people to keep yourself at level one vampirism, which is... Gives you some nice little bonuses to strength and destruction and blades and basic combat magic and stealth skills. It gives you a little boost to a bit of everything, which is pretty helpful. That way any class can become a vampire and receive the benefits. And level one vampirism won't you won't take damage from the sun, you can run around in the sunlight. Level two, you take some small damage, nothing too critical. But you get some bigger bonuses, and then levels three and four you get take a hell lot more of sun damage, but you get some really nice bonuses. If you can manage a vampire character, if you know how to travel through the dark and only go out at night and sneak through the tunnels and stuff, if you can pull it off, definitely do it. It's a bit harder, but it's definitely worth it if you can pull it off. And we should be coming up to Sankator here pretty close. Um, there should be a bridge around here. This is the high pass mountain range. This is the high road. Ooh, wait, I don't think we can fit under this bridge, can we? Bang! Whack my head on the... Yeah, I just whacked my head on the bridge. Um, that's okay, but think... Here's the thing, this is a funny little trick you can do. When you're riding a horse, you can climb up any ledge or any mountain range, no matter how steep it is. You just ride on an angle like this, ride to the side like this, and then just change direction a bit. Up. And see how the horse just kind of skips over the ledge? <laughs> not, not a ledge, but a... The mountain wall thing, the slope. Inclined plane, however you want to call it. Wait, we can get through this bridge. Why couldn't we get through the last one? It's like the architects were drunk when they did this. Mind, we are very close to Skyrim, which is the Nord homeland, and Nords are drunks. So. Ooh, it's an imp. He just fired frost at us and he missed. Because he sucks. You heard me. Imps suck. Ooh, there's another imp. He misses also. He also sucks. And that's Sankator right there. That broken old fortress. We have to go into the catacombs beneath the fortress walls. Now there are a lot of... The enemies in Sankator are all undead. Skeletons, ghosts. That's why I switched to my um, enchanted sword. Because you, when fighting ghosts, like undead beings, like ghosts and wraiths and liches... You have- I think it's a leech, it might be leash, I don't know. You have to have an enchanted weapon or it won't do anything. It has to be enchanted. You can also use silver or daedric. Silver's the easiest one to find. Enchanting weapons, you have to have a sigil stone or you have to be part of the mage's guild or you have to have the, um, mage's tower DLC. I just used a sigil stone so my weapon's pretty powerful. Or you can, um, use silver, which I just said because it's really easy to find. Or Daedric weapons. Daedric weapons don't become available until really high levels, though. Typically, I think, like, level 18, somewhere around there, they start to appear. This is the skeleton. <laughs> Nothing too challenging right at first. There's some really nasty enemies in Sankrator, though. 
into Sankator we go.